Hey guys, in this guide I will show you how to do melee hydra without taking any damage. I will show you my gear setup, the inventory setup, the different phases and mechanics of hydra, which tile you should mark, and the fight itself. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip to any part of the video. On screen right now you can see my personal gear setup. I suggest you make changes where needed and these can either be upgrades or downgrades. I'm using the Slayer Helm, Amulet of Torture, Radha's Blessing, a Fire Cape, Bandos Chestplate and Tassets, the Dragon Hunter Lance with a Dragon Defender, Ferocious Gloves, a Berserkering Eye, Granite Boots and a Spec Weapon. Just go ahead and pause the video if you need to take a closer look at it. Next up is the inv inventory setup. Start off with the Ceradome and Godsword for the special attack. Then we have the Bracelet of Slaughter to extend the task. Two Divine Super Combat Potions, an Anglerfish and a Stamina Potion to pre-pot before we teleport to Hydra. An Antidote Plus Plus for when we get poisoned, eight Prayer Potions, 10 Sharks, the Holy Range, and a rune pouch and a stack of nature runes. The rune pouch consists of law runes, dust runes and fire runes. The defensive stats of Hydra will reset every phase switch, so I suggest you to not use a Bandos Godsword or Dragon Warhammer. Go ahead and pause the video again if needed. Hydra has four forms with corresponding phases. The green form with a poison phase, the blue form with the electric phase, the red form with the fire phase, and finally the black form with the jet phase. During the fight portion of this video, I will show you how to deal with the different mechanics and special attacks during each phase. Okay, we're gonna mark tiles with a rune light plugin called Ground Markers. It is very important that you mark the exact same tiles as I do in this video. Simply hold shift and right click and select mark tile. The first mark is going to be to the left of the right pillar and then mark to the right of the blue. Then we walk a little bit north. From the blue pillar skip the first two tiles and mark seven tiles in a row towards the south and then mark three tiles towards the east. Finally, go ahead and mark these two tiles. After setting up the tile markers, we're ready to start the fight. The first thing to note is that Jed, Jed, what the Brad. Hydra will alternate between attack styles every three attacks and special attacks do not count towards those three attacks. Also, switching between phases does not reset this counter. We're gonna protect from magic and enter the room and, FBI, open up! and run towards the first mark tile next to the red pillar. It's random which attack style he uses first, so it could be that you have to switch to protect from range as he would be attacking with range first but we protect from magic because our gear protects us from range better than it would from magic attacks. After three regular attacks, he will throw out his special attack. In the green phase, this will be his poison attack. We can dodge this attack by standing towards the wall and attacking him as soon as he spits out the poison. When standing against the wall, go ahead and switch your prayer towards protect from range. The poison pools will disappear whenever he has used three regular attacks. So go ahead and switch back to protect from magic. Keep switching between prayers whenever he has attacked three times in a row with the same attack style. Here you can see we have entered the blue phase. We're gonna go ahead and run towards the second mark tile. Keep switching prayers whenever you have to. 
attack him once he has entered the green platform. Here Hydra is going to use his special attack. We're going to run towards the mark tile and then run all the way west towards the other mark tiles. Run towards the most southern mark tile and just run back. This will place Hydra onto the, uh, the next platform. Uh, we have to keep switching prayers while we do this and he will keep attacking you when you're running. So remind yourself of that. So we can see we have entered the next phase and we have already lured him onto the correct platform. Keep attacking him and switch prayers when needed until he walks towards the center of the room. By simply attacking him, you will follow him into the correct spot, so do not click anywhere else. When the second wave of flames hits the wall, you're gonna click onto the last mark tile. This will give you two free hits without having to pray. Keep going until you reach the last phase, which is the jet phase. I'm gonna pause the video here for a moment. The Jad face, his first regular attack will always be different from the re last regular attack used in the red face. So we see that he uses a magic attack here in the red face, so his first attack in the Jad face will be a ranged attack. Instead of alternating every three attacks, he will alternate every attack. When entering the Jad face, you're gonna count his first three regular attacks. As soon as the third attack leaves the head of the Hydra, you're gonna run towards the west and click on him right afterwards. While you're running back, you're gonna switch your prayer. After this, you're gonna just alternate your prayers every attack and that should be the kill done. Afterwards just pick up your loot and run to the first mark tile and he will spawn in the middle and you can just repeat the process over and over again. Alright guys, I hope this guide helps you doing Hydra with melee. Uh, it saves a lot of skills and it's also like 20 seconds faster for me each kill than using the blowpipe with rigor. So I hope it helps and uh, good luck. Bye bye.